The word was made flesh. Then we saw his glory. We saw his glory. When the word was made flesh. My dear brothers and sisters, once again, welcome to this session where we continue to look at the story of Joseph the dreamer. Let us begin then as we invite God to be with us in prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, in your mercy and love, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for calling us. We thank you for believing in us. We thank you for guiding us. We thank you for leading us to the truth. We ask that you may continue to bless us, to guide us, to lead us, to realize our true potential, that we can live that out. I'd like to pray in a very special way for our brothers and sisters who are watching this, that you may touch them, that you may bless them, that whatever word that comes out of our mouths may be coming out of your mind so that they may know that you have a message for them tonight. I pray over them, their situations, whatever they are going through, and I ask for your blessings, for your guidance, for your protection. We pray for those who are struggling. We pray for those who are lonely. We pray for those who are upset. We pray for those who are searching. We pray for those who are confused. We pray for those who just want answers. We ask these blessings. We ask you to be with us. We ask you to guide us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Once again, dear friends, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Father Timberlani Ngobo, and this is Smogvilo Ndabe, uh, our co-host. And once again, we are on Word and Wheels, and we continue to look at the beautiful story of Joseph the Dreamer. And we're going to read from Exodus chapter 37 from verse 5. Exodus 37 from verse 5. Joseph had a dream. And when he told it to his brothers, their hatred for him became still greater. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were out in the field binding sheaves. When all at once my sheep rose and stood upright, and your sheaves gathered around and bowed in homage before my sheep. His brothers retorted, Do you think that you will indeed be king over us and rule us? And their hatred and they hated him still more because his dreams, because of his dreams and what he had said. Then he had another dream. Okay, before we get to the other dream, I think let's try and unpack verse 5. If you go back to verse 5, just read the first two lines in verse 5. There's something there in that line for me. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, their hatred of him became still greater. Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of this, and as we were discussing this and reflecting on this, Joseph had a dream. How many of our brothers and sisters have dreams? The ability to, to dream, the ability to think, the ability to want to progress into life. That, that is a gift of, of, of not being satisfied with the here and the now. Of, of wanting to grow, of wanting to become better. And there's nothing wrong with dreaming dreams. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be better. There's nothing wrong with wanting to excel. But the danger, he told his dream to his brothers. And while he told his dream to his brothers, Instead of them supporting him, instead of them cheering him, instead of them acknowledging the greatness of God, they hated him. Now, how many people have dreams and they are now hated because they shared their dreams? You know, there are, there are instances, there are stories where somebody comes up with a business proposal and you share this in good faith. Where friendships 
had to suffer severely because I shared with you, hoping that you will listen, and I was bouncing my ideas. And you either told me, this is a stupid idea, but what hurts the most is that the very same person you shared, in faith, in confidence, either looked down at your dream or listened at your dream and stole it right in front of you. And they took it and they made it their own. And when you confront them with the truth, you became enemies. And so my, my concern here with Joseph was that while he had a dream, I think he had to see Kuluma Kapur. And it's Kuluma Kupantu Abarong. But now, why is this Kuluma Kupantu Abarong? Because these are his brothers. Should I not trust my own siblings? You should. <laughs> but at the same time, in the Balegi, whenever you share your dreams, is it the right place? Is it the right people to share them with? Because I've seen one band who will support your dream when you share your dream. Other people will start looking at you and say, Kanjan, how can this person have this type of a dream? I am funny. Others would say, okay, very simple. it is their dream, but then they can't do it while we are still around. Yeah. So that means while Umu de Fluenza, I'm a pupu anke. I spend realistic Uchi. Ukwana Banyabantu, I'm a funu pulala, I'm a pupu abanyabantu. And you're talking about the right time and the right place and the right people. You know, these three things are important. Time, place, and people. So, Elini Pupo, Silisho prematurely, yes, Zulu Tiwa, Unga Kulumele Ziko, Mogoba, Mshabe Lendo Pusa Kulumangayo, Ibinga Vutua, Kashega, Uchi, Ibinga Gena, Ikoku Abayabad. But the same principle, Uchi. We ask when you move to all the poop or on a kuluma in the small Ucho Luguchi Lendai Kulumayo is way beyond this time. Yeah, when I um does what he has in for some ones the Uchi no Uchi no Uchi, but he only realized Abant Onabo cannot visualize that. Uma relationships or Tandana na ye cannot see what you already see. Who can stand on top of a mountain and see something so great, so far? It's like an eagle and a chicken. What's the role of our friends? With our dreams. I mean, I'm almost in the ballet is to again scan, scan your circle of friends. Who can support my dream? I think any of this will allow we get too excited over our dream. It's okay, and we end up sharing all of our dreams with everyone who's in our life, but it's not everyone who is in our life who's there to support us. Yeah. We must be able or pray for the grace to actually see which friends are true friends who can support our dreams, who can journey with us. Because even the journey to our dreams is not an easy one. Mm -hmm. So we need people who understand that Usbo has this dream. Usbo wants to reach this stage of her life. And then they support us. Now, I'm your friend. You're sharing to me your dream, which I passionately love. How do I deal with Umonawami and still support you as a good friend without Ukulala in Pupolanko and without Ugutigrin Church? That's a difficult one. <laughs> because Umona is very strong. We can see it in the story of Joseph. Joseph, but yeah. And local ones in relationship here in So sometimes, yes, we have friends, 
But if Abanda Vasoglene now are not helping you to get to your dream, it's okay to walk away. That's how I feel. Okay. If Abanda Vasoglene now are not able to help you with your dream, it's okay to walk away. But a story is got yourself. These are his siblings. And this yazi ever kaya gonna have a obukayo ola lele ozo chi mina kaya abang funi and this may sound arrogant ati abang funi gobana ku gi successful abang funi gobana ku gi right but then mesu ya ibuzu guchi yini lena ebi kangaga e dalu guchi bang funi uzo chalu guchi ya sebenza Uzo chalu guchi kabe zonki zido uya zenza ena geko erogeni aga deleni aga kaza uguchi upupa mapupo ezi dey balegi but then his success yake has costed him or her a relationship na ma siblings aki uchi ni muto jalo ospraklisha nga leo nje kama I think Ogbalegile is for you to be able to chase your dream. Yes, I see in our families who would support us. But when if it's burning inside of you, follow it. Because Maspo O Joseph, yes, his brothers hated him, but there's not a point where we hear that he hated them back. Yeah. But it dreamyake YP. Let's go back to the other aspect. Nangu mamnane, nangu umamkulu, uchi mabesha gene no ma, no malume. No man, why gani yako ibe tono kwa duwe zetu inga vimono? Kakenga kine stana atani. So, where does one draw a line uchi? Aigo, asina amino mona, aigo masana atwa. Uchi lo, Uya sebenza and imali yake aga ilutwana. Imali yake aga gangi ngaye. So, ezu mzali, obuga lento, gibugi nganzam, ezam azi pambi. Kote ya sisi, nome ya puti, zia progressa. How then do I take the positive la? Oguchi, bizdao tumba kata. Kwa tuwa bukani la bukele tutale nifilandini. Bukani la uguze nani nibe ilo ku egi kifisa hayo. Ya isi ni funu kishu. So, ezo ma, ezo malume, ezo buti. How do we work around building each other, supporting each other, even though le sisi ipo, le lipu upo, linga veli, eswi nsambu. How do we do that? That's a problem. Yes. But then the other question that we need to look into as Joseph tells the story, he is never afraid of being honest and truthful to himself. He tells it naively as a baby, but there's a second story and a second dream that he has. But that dream, we'll look at it next time we meet. Thank you. Smo, conclude with a prayer, please. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the dreams that you give us, for the ability to look beyond the situations that we face every day. We pray for enlightenment that we may have the strength to follow our dreams, the strength to support others in their dreams. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Continue to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share with a friend. Thank you. The Word was made flesh. Then we saw His glory. We saw His glory. When the Word was made flesh.